What's up everybody, thanks for coming in. This video is a practical review of Sorceress. I'm a Korean Lost Star user who played over 2000 hours, and today we'll be watching how real Sorceress is like. This is Sorceress. In short, Sorceress is an original magician class using three elements. This class can spell powerful attacks in large areas. It summons lightning bolt, or a meteor, or even icicles. In Korea, Sorceress is one of the top dealer classes because it can give huge amount of damage in a small amount of time using its identity. Sorceress isn't tanky at all, but it can quickly teleport distance to distance to survive. Next, let's look at the identity. At the bottom of your interface, you can see a bar filled up as you hit mobs with your skills. When bar is filled, you have two choices you can make. When you activate it by pressing Z, all skills are now casted a lot faster than usual. Once it's activated, this buff remains until you consume all the gate you store. Pressing X, on the other hand, will make you able to teleport from distance to distance. The stats sorcerers use depends on your playstyle. If you want your skills to give huge damage, but with a bit of cooldown, specialization will be your best pick. In contrast, if you want to use your skills many times as possible, crit stats with swiftness can work well for you. These two different playstyles will also help you decide which class engraving you'll use. Now let's look at class engravings and what kind of skills they use. First, Ignite. Ignite gives 50% reduced cooldown, extra crit chance, and extra crit damage while your identity is active. As cast speed becomes amazingly fast when you activate your identity, Ignite makes your skills a lot stronger. Ignite Sorceress usually choose specialization stat to maximize the damage. Massive damage in one moment, that's Ignite Sorceress. These are basic tripods for Ignite Sorceress. Most skills are slow, but powerful. Basic rotations are Blaze, Wind Blast, Elemental React, Judgment Day, Winter's Calling, Z, Explosion, Divine Wrath, Ice Arrows, Blaze, Wind Blast, Elemental React, and again, Judgment Day. What's important in this rotation is to activate Ignite after using slow skills. Skills already used can get extra crit chance and extra crit damage as you activate your Ignite right after the skill. As a result, you can put two Judgment Day skill in one Ignite rotation. Second class engraving is Reflux. Reflux makes Sorceress unable to activate its identity but gives 3 to 16% damage increase and reduce cooldown by 3 to 10%. So, Reflux Sorceress basically only uses its identity to teleport, which gives Sorceress more chance of survival. Unlike Ignite Sorceress, Reflux Sorceress does not use explosion, instead, it uses reverse gravity. Rotations are simple, Blaze, Reverse Gravity, Elemental React, High Arrows, Judgment Day, Vine Wrath, then use any kind of skills remaining. If you don't have enough skill points, use these skill trees. Sorceress is a powerful class among other classes. Huge damage, various staggering or part destruction skills. This class is a great choice if you play the Magician class and other MMORPG games. You only have to watch out for your health bar as health armor rate is one of the lowest. If you like Magician, you'll have a fun time watching massive damage and teleporting distance to distance. Thanks for watching this video and please leave a chat if you have any kind of questions.